George Lopez doesn't know anybody anything. We get it. It's every man for themselves. You create your own way. But dog, you are the OG. You are the legend. We expect more from you. For so long, we took so much pride seeing you on TV. We took so much pride seeing you on the silver screen in movies. We took so much pride buying tickets to your show to watch you on stage tell our stories. You represented us. We identified with you, George Lopez, El Mas Chingon. After hearing these clips and watching these clips, George Lopez, do you represent us? Saying shit like this? But nobody knows who that motherfucker yeah. is. What are you saying his name, man? Uh, I, look, I, Have you heard of him? I think he's fucking great. He needs an opportunity. I don't see anything wrong with that. That's what we look out for yourself. But I also want to look out for others. And, and I also want to make the path I don't easier. think that's the right, you know. I don't think that's the right, I don't think that's the right thing. And this? Like, man, I really need this. He goes, it's me. He goes, and George Lopez. I was like, oh, man. And he was like, he had a cigar. He's like, what? Well, you don't like George Lopez? I'm like, man, I love George Lopez, but he don't work with Mexicans. Huh? Like, he don't work with Latinos. If you put him on the show, there's not going to be another Latino on the show. No, no, I'm going to talk to him. Like, okay, man. Are you serious? And then Monday he calls me, Dio calls me and says, hey, Juan, uh, you were right, man. Uh, yeah, George. Yeah, he did. He said he wants to be the only Donnie uh -huh. Brown, Brown on the show. And this. You've done so many shitty things that how low are you that you, <laughs> you told the casino, say, in Palm Springs. That that casino, they couldn't hire no other Latinos. As so long as they, they, they had a contract with you. What kind of bullshit is that, George? Can you live with that? Even at the height of my fucking little fame. I never did that. Why are you doing it? What's all this about trying to help other Latinos? My record stands for what it is, eh? I always, from the Tonight Show to Comic Relief, I always said, Viva la Raza. Has it ever occurred to you why George Lopez and Gabriel Iglesias have never done anything professionally with one another over the last 10, 15 years or ever for that matter. They don't do shows together. They never mention each other. They've never gone on a world tour together. Had that comment, that statement that was made about Ralph Barbosa on your podcast, had it been about a comic that was anything but Latino, a black comic, a white comic, an Indian comic, an Asian comic, would your energy have been the same? Would the response had been the same? Man, dog, we get it. You said you had never heard of him. Anybody that watched the clip in its entirety saw you say more than once you had never heard of him. But then you proceeded to say that nobody's heard of that motherfucker. Then you proceeded to make fun of his last name and start mocking his last name. First of all, I don't think you should be worried about anybody else. Especially, uh, uh, the okay, business. Jeremy Barbo, <laughs> come on. Jeremy Barbasol, that's his name. I don't know, I don't know who he is. George, by the numbers, you said that nobody's ever heard of that motherfucker. By the numbers, you're wrong. A lot of people have heard of that motherfucker. Look at his social media numbers. Matter of fact, stop. This is what we're going to do. Everybody follow Ralph Barbosa right now. His highest viewed video on YouTube has like 19 million views. He's selling out shows all across the U.S., comedy clubs everywhere. Matter of fact, he just announced that he sold out six shows in your hometown of Los Angeles, George. Not to mention, he just did The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. So no, 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 no. A lot of people have heard of him. See, but that's the thing though, man. We expect so much from you. It's very well known in the entertainment industry that Latinos in the industry are territorial. And it's just not within comedy, it's all across the board. And I don't even know why. Like, what's the purpose behind it? Like, do you want to be the undisputed Latino champion amongst all Latinos and there cannot be any other Latinos that have success? I have to be the only one. I'm not talking about just you, George. I'm talking about everybody that has that mentality. They're looking at us crazy right now, like we're crabs in a bucket. George, the culture did not push you up because we expected you to put other people on. We didn't push you up because we expected you to give people handouts. We just did not expect you to blackball your own. That's all we want, man. It was me. I took the clip on Pura Cultura's Instagram and I uploaded it to my TikTok. Within an hour or two of me putting it on TikTok, it went viral. Ralph Barbosa used my TikTok and uploaded it to his TikTok and responded to you. <laughs> I didn't do it with an ill intent.
I did it to hold our people accountable because you know what, George Lopez, we want you to be better. We want you to do better. Don't blackball your own. It's hard enough. You know, it's hard enough for us to get in the game. And for the record, Ralph Barbosa didn't ask for George Lopez to endorse him, to co-sign him, to put him on. He didn't ask for anything. We work twice as hard to get half the recognition. We have expectations from people like you. You want to know why? Because we ain't got many of us out here that are representing on the level that you are. Do better, be better. I look forward to talking to you soon.